ओके ना वी आर गोयिंग टू स्टडी रिडक्शन ऑफ को प्लेनर फोर्सेस देर इज ए रिजल्ट ए सिस्टम ऑफ को प्लेनर फोर्सेस एक्टिंग ऑन ए रिजिड बॉडी कैन बी रिड्यूज टू ए सिंगल फोर्स थ्रू ए पॉइंट एंड ए कपल लेटेस्ट सीड्स प्रूफ Suppose we have a rigid body. Draw rectangular axis. O x y. This is x dash. This is y dash. On this rigid body, we have several points A one, A two, A three, etc. On these several points, forces P one. P2, P3, etc. are acting. P1 here, P2 here, P3 and so on. Our claim is that all these forces, they are coplanar. All these forces can be reduced to a single force and a couple. So let us do this. The force P1 at the point A1 can be can be written as x1 and y1. These x1 and y1, these x1, this x1 and y1, the resultant is P1. X1 is parallel to OX, y1 is parallel to OY. Similarly, at the point P2, x2, y2, point P3, x3, y3, and so on. The coordinates of A1 are x1, y1, a2, x2, y2, and so on. Now, we will introduce two forces: x1 along OX and x1 along OX dash. X1 and here X1. So this X1 and this X1 they will balance each other. So they will have no effect on the rigid body. Now, as you can see from the figure, this force X1 and this force X1 it makes a couple. This force X1 and this force X1 they will make a couple, couple of forces. Okay, so this x1 and this x1, this force x1 is and making with this force x1 a couple of moment x1 into this distance. Suppose this point is m, this distance is y1, since the coordinate of a1 is x1 y1. But since it's it is tending to move it in clockwise direction, so the moment will be. Moment is equal to minus x1 into this distance. This a1 m a1 m is y1 y1. Also, the same will be we can uh, resolve. We can also introduce forces y1 in the oy direction and y1 in the oy dash direction. So this oy1 and this y1 here. Y1 and here Y1. This force Y1 and this force Y1. This will make a couple tending to move the body in anti-clockwise direction. So its moment will be. This is moment due to X1 and moment due to Y1. This is equal to Y1 into X1 because this X1 is this one distance distance between this Y1 and this Y1. These two forces, and it is tending to move it in anti-clockwise direction, so it is a positive direct sign. So the total moment due to this x1 moment is equal to y1 x1 minus x1 y1. This is first thing. Similarly, we can do for all other forces. 
सो द टोटल मोमेंट टोटल मोमेंट जी इज इक्वल टू समेशन y1 x1 एक्स वन माइनस एक्स वन वाई वन दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट दैट इज सिस्टम ऑफ फोर्सेज इज रिड्यूज टू ए कपल नाउ वी नीड टू शो दैट द सिस्टम ऑफ फोर्सेज इज रिड्यूज टू ए फोर्स ऑल्सो ओके सो वेन दिस फोर्स एक्स वन दिस फोर्स एक्स वन इज मेकिंग ए कपल वी आर रिमेनिंग विद दिस फोर्स एक्स वन ओनली अलॉन्ग दी ओ एस डायरेक्शन Similarly, along OY direction, we are remaining with this force Y1. So, this force, the force P1 at A1, is reduced to a force X1 along OX and Y1 along OY. If we do this resolution for all other forces, then we can get R X. R X is equal to total forces along O X direction. So this is equal to X one plus X two plus X three plus so on. So it will be summation X one along O X and R Y. Is equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus one. This is equal to summation y1 along oy. There, for the resultant will be resultant r is equal to r x square plus r y square under root. And this resultant r will make an angle of Theta with the OX axis. This resultant R will make an angle of theta with the OX axis. Given by theta is equal to tan inverse R Y by R X. Suppose this is our R. So this is your theta. This is R X. This is R Y. So tangent theta is equal to R Y by R X. Hence, we have proved that the system of force, coplanar forces acting on a rigid body, is reduced to a single force R through a point and a couple of G. So it is proved. Thank you.